rainbows and welcome back to another video in this video we are going to be doing something a little bit different but it's going to be really fun we're going to be turning our royal family characters our princesses and queens from our royal family series into iconic princesses mostly disney inspired princesses so i'm so excited to do this and i thought during this video because i will be actually going through and picking their outfits and everything instead of it being a speed create a sim sort of video so I thought I would just share some stories from being a party princess at children's parties because I've been doing that for years. I have a lot of funny and interesting stories to tell. So if you're looking forward to this video, make sure you hit that like button and let's go ahead and begin. So most of the custom content and outfits that I will be using is Maxis Match. As you guys know, I usually use Maxis Match and just some alpha custom content. I will actually be doing a collab at the end of the month and I will be using some alpha custom content in that so you guys will get to see that pretty soon but for the most part for the outfits that I did download some are very similar to the outfits of the princess that they're supposed to be and then the other ones I chose are more just inspired by their outfits so they're just kind of similar like similar color and style but not the exact same outfit that it's meant to be. For the most part, the princesses that we will be turning our princesses and queens into are Disney inspired, but two of them are not, and you guys will get to see who they are. The first princess we're going to start with is Princess Belle, who is going to not be Princess Belle. She's going to be Cinderella. And I did have a lot of people throughout the series when Princess Belle was growing up, especially when she turned into a teenager, they told me that she did remind them of Cinderella even though her name was Belle technically her name is Isabel but still so I thought we would go with Cinderella for her especially since she grew up wearing a lot of blue since that is the Willow Creek colors the custom content that I found for Cinderella I didn't love so I think we're just going to do more of an inspired gown for her some of our characters will also be multiple princesses so I'll, I'll turn them into multiple princesses for you guys and we should have time because I have very specific outfits that they should be wearing so it should be totally fine. So this is an option. I feel like the ball gown's not puffy enough for this one. There were a few different options too. Ooh, this one might work. There was a few different options for like the live action version of her and then the cartoon version of her. I actually like this one. I think we can make this one work. I know Cinderella's dress, she has like those off shoulder sleeves, but again, this one is going to be a little bit just more inspired by her. But I feel like if we put the outfit together enough, this should work for Cinderella. So, oh, I do need to do her hair too. So I mentioned this in the past, but I own a princess party company. Actually, we do superheroes too, but mostly princesses. And you get a lot of strange questions from kids when you're a princess. But when you are Cinderella, I'm not Cinderella, but when my employees, when they are Cinderella, I've heard a lot of weird questions. The most common one is why are your slippers not made of glass? Because obviously we're not going to send someone with glass slippers to a party, but we usually try to have them wear some like really sparkly shoes and then we call them crystal shoes. Shoes, but then some of the kids are like, well, why aren't you wearing glass? And then I remember someone overhearing one of our princesses say this, and this was probably a little bit more of a sassy response than I usually let them respond. But the girl who was playing Cinderella was like, oh, they broke because they're made of glass. And I was like, I mean, yes, that is probably true, but kids ask like the weirdest things. Cinderella is not that popular of a princess, unfortunately, for birthday parties. She doesn't get requested very often. She has like the most beautiful ball gown. Her costume is so gorgeous. You know what I also noticed in the cartoon version is that the Cinderella doesn't have ears. Like they just don't show her ears at all. All right, and then for the necklace, she wears this choker. The choker is more black, but I think this pearl one looks really good on her. So even though we don't have a headband, I feel like her head still could use something. Maybe we'll do like this thing right here. It's not blue, but I still think that looks good. And it just like adds a little bit more to her hair. So yeah, this is Princess Isabel of Willow Creek as Cinderella and I think she looks really good. I'll also make sure that all of these links are in the description below of like their final dresses so you guys can definitely check that out. All right so for Princess Corinne I've had a lot of people tell me that she looks like Snow White so we're going to turn her into Snow White and her dress is a little bit more Snow White inspired too. I did download one that was very very similar to like the cartoon movie version but I like the inspired one just a 
little bit better. Okay, so this is the one. This one actually comes with two different ones, which is really cool. This with the sleeves though, it doesn't have the red in it. So that's the only thing. I do have like a cute little short hairstyle for her though, that has the curls and everything that I think is really going to work. For my company, Snow White was like rarely ever requested for birthday parties, which is really sad. I think we had her go to birthday parties maybe like twice or something like that. Like I had that company for a little bit more than three years and we only had Snow White requested, I think twice or three times or something, but it wasn't very often. This is the one and it even has this little red clip in it, which is really cute. I did download like a regular Snow White dress. So there's that one, but I don't think it's as pretty. Like it's way more accurate. I think I am going to stick with this one though. I do need to do her makeup because we need it to have a little bit more red for the lips. So we already have our Snow White and our Cinderella. Some of them have more than one outfit that, that downloaded. So I'll probably give them more than one outfit. Oh my God, look at Corinna Snow White, you guys. She looks so cute. I love this so much. So I did bring back Princess May because I miss her a lot. I brought her back for this video specifically so we could just see her. If you're new to my channel and don't know, Princess May was Prince or was King Henry's second daughter, Princess Amira's younger sister and Prince Kellen's older sister. So, or one of his older sisters. So she died in the first season of the Royal Family, if you guys did not see. So Princess May, she is going to be our Princess Belle from Beauty and the Beast. I thought it worked perfectly because her hair was brown. She's actually one of the only ones. She's, okay, no, she's not the only one with brown hair. So I will say, I'll do this while I'm picking her outfit. My favorite princess is Princess Jasmine, but we're not going to be doing Princess Jasmine today because there's no one who I think could be Princess Jasmine. I know a lot of people were saying that Queen Nea could be Princess Jasmine. Princess Nea, one, she's mixed, so she's a little too pale to be Jasmine. Also her family and her ancestors are Indian and Jasmine and like the movie Aladdin is more based off of Middle Eastern culture. A lot of people were asking why Nea and her family, if Oasis Springs supposed to be Indian, like why Nea and her family are not not Indian and if you are new to my channel her grandparents were Indian but her father married her mother who was not Indian which is why she turned out a little bit lighter so that is why and I just wanted to say that because I knew some people were asking about that so if you are new to my channel if you just watch like the first few episodes especially the ones relating to Oasis Springs of the first season of the royal family you'll get to see Nea's grandparents but yeah Princess Jasmine is my absolute favorite princess but okay I think this is the dress I'm going to go with for May to be Belle. There are a few different options that I have. I didn't download like an exact version of Belle's dress from Beauty and the Beast just because I didn't really like any of them. But there's that one and then there's this one which I don't like as much. This like the way the skirt flares, it's a little bit more similar to the movie version of her dress, the live action movie. So I think we're gonna go with this one for her. And I have a few different hairstyles that I think are going to work for her as well. Oh, this works for like Townie Belle. Oh, did I download that dress? I don't think I did. Oh, that would have worked for her little town dress. I should have had like a little blue Bow for her too. Oh, this one works. Oh, you know what? This one works. This one has the little bun in the back. It's not as high as it is from the movie, but I think this one works really great. Oh guys, she looks so cute. All right, so that's Princess May as Princess Belle. Next, we are going to be doing Princess Leilana, who is going to be our Moana. I do have to get rid of her tattoos for, well, I don't know. I do, let's try it with the tattoos. I'm just curious. So we're actually not even really going to be using custom content for this. We're going to be using, oh, not custom content. We're going to be using stuff from the Island Living Pack because it worked really well. And I definitely think that Island Living was inspired by Moana, which which would explain why they got Ali Krivola, the voice of Moana, to voice the trailer for Island Living. Oh, I did forget to say that the most popular question that you get as Princess Belle, Princess Belle is very popular for kids' parties, but the most popular question for her is just like, where's the beast? And then kids seem to forget that he's now a prince. They just assume that he's a beast, so they just call him beast. I usually am Moana for parties because she's more popular than like Mulan. Plus in the summertime, I'm a lot more tanner. And then also my family is from Hawaii too. For Moana, 
Moana. Oh my gosh, you just get so many questions. One of my other Moanas, they were asked what her last name was. And she was like, oh, I don't have a last name. And then she looked it up later and she found out that they actually didn't have last names back then. And in the Polynesian culture, they were, it was just like from their clan or like where they were from or something like that. So she was like, oh my gosh, I was right. So I was like, well, that's good to know. I've never gotten asked that ever. So I downloaded this custom content because you can collect the heart in the game. So then people actually turned it into a necklace, which was really cool. So look, it's like the actual heart of Tafiti, which I think is awesome. Oh, okay. And then the heart of Tafiti necklace, this isn't like, I guess, cause Moana actually wears like the blue necklace with the heart inside. So no, I don't have anything similar to that. This actually doesn't come in blue, which was surprising to me. And then I do want to change her hair into something like a little bit curlier. Let's do this one. I know it's probably not as similar to Moana's hair as her actual hairstyle, but I do want to do something a little bit different. But yeah, this is Leilana as Moana. She doesn't look that much different, but I still think she looks really cute. Next, we are going to do Princess Araminta. We're going to be turning her into Mulan, which I'm super excited about. And yeah, as I mentioned, Mulan was just never requested at all for princess parties, which was so sad. It was so sad because a lot of the time, if you would mention Mulan, if she just came up, we'd be like, oh, that's like my friend Mulan or something like that. Kids would have no idea who she was, which is so depressing. Mulan is like one of my favorite movies. Mulan 2 is a great movie. I don't know if you guys have seen that yet, but it is so good. So this is the outfit for her. I don't have like that flower hair clip or that flower comb that she has. And I'm gonna have to find an updo that works for her too. This is actually really difficult to find a similar hairstyle to her. I feel like either this one or this one works. The bun that she has is not this big, but the other one, the bun is too small. So we need something like in between. Okay, I'm gonna change her makeup though. She does have darker eyeshadow and then she does have the red lipstick too. This would actually be perfect if the thing wasn't so gold or anything like that. But yeah, anyway, okay, so that is Araminta as Mulan. She's one of my favorite princesses too. I love her so much. And next we're going to be doing Queen Zamora. So I am turning her into Tiana. Now I could not find a Tiana dress at all. I found, oh no, no, that's not true. I found her more casual dresses, but I couldn't find the iconic green dress. There was like this one that I thought was the most similar, which it's not even really. And then there's this one, but I'll show you guys the other ones too. So she wears like this blue dress at some point in the movie. So this is the one that they had for her. So I'll be doing a few different outfits for her. She honestly looks so good with this hairstyle. I love this a lot on her, but it looks like the necklace she's wearing is, oh, it actually looks exactly like this. It looks like it's pearls. And then it has like this little blue thing at the end. And then she is also wearing some gloves. So I don't even know if I'm gonna be putting her in the green dress, even though that is the most iconic dress, but I just didn't have like a really good one for her, unfortunately. And then she does have a crown on. Oh, this looks awesome. This looks just like her. Okay, cool. Okay, so that's her blue dress. And then, oh, okay, well, why don't we just work off of this outfit? And then, yeah, okay, I don't have the green dress, but this is the most similar one. I could probably turn this crown to be a little bit more green to match. And then the necklace that she's wearing is green as well. Actually, the necklace that she wears is like different in all of the pictures I see. Well, she definitely does not have pink in her dress, but this is the most similar that I could do, you guys. Okay, yeah, I think this one looks really good. Those are the two different outfits I have for her. So we got this one and then this one. So that's Queen Zamora as a Princess Tiana. And I think she looks super cute. Okay, so next we're going to be using Princess Diana and she's going to be several princesses. So I debated because, okay, I do have an aerial dress. So I'll show you guys her in the aerial dress because her hair is not the exact red that Ariel has obviously so I wasn't 100% sure if I should have her be Ariel also there's no way I can turn her into a mermaid because she's not a mermaid actually the hairstyle that I think works perfectly for her, if I can ever find it, is the hairstyle that Amira used to wear. And I think it looks so good on her. Actually, this one also works too. Oh, this one also works. That one's cute. I think just for this outfit specifically, I'll turn her hair into like the aerial red. I'm trying to find the outfit or the hairstyle that Amira used to wear all the time because that I think works the best. Okay, there it is. Oh yeah. Oh, it looks so good on her, you guys. Okay, for Ariel. So we have like so many different costumes and outfits for Ariel for our princess parties. We have an outfit where she's 
wearing a mermaid tail. Kids ask all the time, they're like, how are you walking? But it's so funny with kids. Okay, yeah, this is like her little pink dress, which I think works perfectly. But yeah, with kids, if you tell them something and you're confident in your answer and it makes like somewhat sense, they'll normally believe it. So usually tell kids like, oh, well, my father, King Triton, he made it so I could walk for your party, like just so I could come to your party. And the kids are like, oh my gosh, really? Like they get so excited. And it's the cutest thing ever. Oh yeah, so that's Diana is Ariel, you guys. Oh, she looks so pretty. I love this so much. Okay, so next I have a very simple Anna outfit and that's not who I was planning on having. I'm gonna be turning her to three different princesses. So this won't take long, but I just wanted you guys to see her as the different princesses. So of course we have Anna and she's in her two little braids that she has. There's that one, but I don't think that one works. I think this might be it. Oh, oh, there's this one, but the hair is not as like long. I think we're gonna go with this one, even though she has bangs in the movie, but it's fine. And then I do have like an actual, very similar to Anna from Frozen dress. Have you guys seen Frozen 2 yet? If you have, let me know what you think in the comments below. I really liked it. I have had the music stuck in my head since I saw it like last week. It was really, really good. It was just so different and like not what I was expecting at all. Okay, so that's the Anna dress that I have. She wears black boots when she wears this. So that's Princess Diana as Anna. And then the last one I'm going to show you. Oh no, oh gosh. Okay, well, she would also make a really good Merida too. So can I just show you guys that really quickly? Okay, that's her as Merida. I think she looks really cute. I just wanted to show you guys that real quick. I have the freckles for her too. I added freckles for her as Anna as well. So Anna probably doesn't have as many freckles, but I think that's fine. So, okay, next we're going to have her do the last princess. I have a Princess Diana repping like all of our redhead princesses because we just didn't really have that many redhead characters, which I was surprised. I think like all, I started with like a few redhead Sims when I first started, but I think they all just like, the redheads just disappeared just because of all of the couples and all the babies happening. All right, so the last one I am going to turn her into is Anastasia and I'm so excited. I don't know if you guys have seen Anastasia. She's not a Disney princess, but she's a great princess. I love her so much. Actually, the movie was very frightening as a kid. If you watch that thing when you're a kid, it's terrifying. The Broadway musical, the music for that is amazing. I have not seen the Broadway musical. Oh, but the music was so, so good. Oh, and I actually have a crown that'll work really well for her too. So I'm gonna change this hairstyle because I don't think this one really works. So I think this one is perfect. And then I'll come back to the crown. But I do have an Anastasia dress that's like very similar to the movie dress. Her dresses are gorgeous. I wish that we got Anastasia requests for my princess party company, but we never did. But oh my gosh, she would have been so much fun to do a princess party for. All right, so here, here is the Anastasia dress, guys. Look at this, she looks so pretty. And then I have the perfect crown for her too. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Oh no, did I delete the crown? <gasps> no, guys. Oh my God, why? Oh my God, okay, well, uh, this is the most similar one to it, but I had like an actual Russian crown. Actually, this one looks really good though. But I guess the green doesn't match with it specifically. You know what? I will re-download the Russian crown that I'm referring to and I'll link that in the description below. And I'll also put that as her screenshot at the end of this so you guys can see too. But oh my God, she looks so good as Anastasia, you guys. This one's probably my favorite so far. So that's enough for Diana. She got four princesses, four redhead princesses. Okay, so the last sim we're going to be making over is Princess Amira. So I have several in mind for her as well that you guys are going to see. The first one I wanted to show you is Princess Aurora. So Sleeping Beauty. I think she would make a great Sleeping Beauty. And I found this hairstyle that's a Sleeping Beauty hair style that works perfectly. And her dress is actually very, very similar to the movie version too, but it looks so good on her. Okay, so we have this dress right here. So we have like the pink version and then for her necklace, I, oh, I don't have the crown though for her, but I might have something similar so we can definitely check. For the necklace, she wears this gold necklace. And then for the crown, she's got like that triangular pointy crown, but I think this one would work even though her crown is gold and that one's not gold, but I think that one works fine. That is the pink version. And then it even comes with a blue version too. But since she's from Windenburg and they were pink, so I'm just gonna put her in the pink one. Oh my God, I love her. She looks so cute. <gasps> I love this so 
much. Oh, she looks so good. Okay, and then another one, I don't, I could not download the hair for her though, but I was thinking she'd make a really good Rapunzel. That dress is really puffy. Oh, there it is. Okay, so that's the other one. This one is way more accurate. The other one was just like way too puffy. There's like the part where she's wearing that really long braid, but I mean, it's way thicker than that. So yeah, I don't really have a hairstyle for Rapunzel. I could not get one to download safely on my computer. So that is why, but if you guys wanted to see her just like as Rapunzel really quickly, you could. There's also like Elsa too. Her hair is not light enough to be Elsa. So we'd have to pick something like this for Elsa. And then we'd have to do a shorter braid too. Something like this actually works perfectly. And I didn't download an Elsa dress, but I mean, I have a few, oh, unless I got rid of them. Um, there's that one. That one's probably the most similar. And then there's this one. This one might be the best option, I think. But yeah, that's what Amira would look like as Elsa. She's a little bit tan, but that's okay. The last one was one of my favorite movies growing up. It's the Swan Princess. So I think that Princess Amira would make a really good Odette. So this one is probably less popular than Anastasia is, but oh my gosh, it was one of my absolute favorites. When you're a princess too, you get questioned all the time. It's like your hair is real. Oh, there's the outfit. Oh yes. Okay. Oh, and it comes in different colors too. But this one is the Odette dress. But anyway, as a princess, you get asked all the time, like if your hair is real and we're like, of course it's real. And they're like, no, no, it's not. And they're like here, or you were like here, pull on it to see if it's real. We have to like hold the top of it so they don't pull a wig off. But if they pull here, you just go out and they're like, oh, I'm so sorry. And they're like, your hair is real. And we're like, yes, is. And then sometimes like if the wig's really soft, they're like, oh, your hair is real. It's really soft. And we're like, yeah, it's just funny the way kids respond to things. For Odette, I, I don't know if her hair is this blonde. It might be a little bit more like Amira's blonde. Uh, yeah, it is a little bit. Oh, actually, it's a little bit more yellow. This one's probably the most similar. But yeah, that's her as Odette. Oh my gosh. Okay, I love this so much. So I'm going to be sharing screenshots. Don't forget that the links to their final outfits that are pictured will be in the description below as well. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and want me to do more things like this, like character transformations and stuff, definitely put it in the comments below if you have any suggestions as well. If you're not already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!